let's say that we've got this linear regression question. So we want to see if there's a linear correlation between the average hours of sleep a student gets per night and their GPA, and we're asked to do all of these things. So we want to create that scatter plot. We want to find the linear regression. Along with that linear regression, we want that correlation coefficient r and r squared. And then we want to show the scatter plot along with that regression line. Your TI-84 makes such easy work of this, starting with putting this into the calculator. So from your calculator, you want to go to the stat menu and we want to edit or enter data. So we hit enter here because edit is already selected and I am at the very first empty cell of L1. I can go ahead and start to type in these values. So we've got, this is for hours of sleep now. So we've got six, 6 6.5, 7, 7.5 and 8. Next, we're going to arrow over and up. Looks like we're already there to the top of the L2 list. And let's go ahead and put in the GPAs. So we've got 2.9, 3.3, 3.2, 3.5, and 3.6. So we've got our data in here. The very first thing on that list was to show the scatter plot. To do that, we want to go into stat plot, which you see right up here on y equals. So I'm going to go second stat plot, and I've got all of these set to off. Let's set that first one to on. One is already selected. See how it's highlighted there? So I want to hit enter and I want to navigate over. So I'm hovering on on and then hit enter. Now I can also change the chart type, but I do want to scatter plot. I want to make sure that I've got my hours of sleep as my X list and that's L1 perfect and GPA as my Y list, which is L2. That's also perfect. You can change what that marker is. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it and I want to graph this. So I hit my graph button and they're all kind of clustered over here. The TI-84 has a great zoom feature called zoom stat. It'll zoom in right on your data. So I hit my zoom button here in the middle and I'm going to um, just arrow down or you can hit number nine to choose zoom stat. And I've got a really, really nice picture of my scatter plot. Okay, task number one, done. Let's go ahead and do task number two. For task number two, we wanted to run that linear regression. Let's leave the graph. So I'll do second followed by quit. And I wanna go back to that stat menu, but this time we want calc. And I'm looking for that linear regression. There are two of them. Take a look at number four and number eight. They're exactly the same, just in a different order. I'm gonna choose number four and then hit enter. Now it's checking that you've got your X list and your Y list in the right place. I already do. If you don't, you can hit second followed by one for L1, second followed by two for L2 and so on. Okay, those are great. I do want to store my regression equation and I'm going to store that in Y1 so I can also graph it. I want to go to my VARS key, which is right over here. So that VARS menu, uh, let's see, we want Y variables. So I arrow over for the Y variables. One function that's chosen exactly what I want. I hit enter here and I do want Y1. So I just hit enter again. So I've got Y1 for that regression equation. Let's arrow down and hit calculate. Now you'll notice, and yours may have done this too, I get a value for A and I get a value for B, which is great. This is my regression equation now, Y equals A. So Y equals 0.32X plus B. So 0.32X plus 1.06. But it didn't give me R or R squared. To do that, I need to make sure that the diagnostic on is set on my calculator and unfortunately it's not the default. So we're going to go to the catalog and once you do this, it's set. So I'm going to go to my catalog, which is right above that zero key. So second and then catalog. I'm looking for diagnostic on, which I know starts with the letter D and I'm going to just type in the letter D then to get to the D's. So hit alpha followed by D, which is that X to the negative one key. So now I'm here in my D's. Let's just scroll through until we get to diagnostic on. There it is. So it's a little bit hidden there and it's just gonna tell you done. 
once you've done this, you are set and it will show you that correlation coefficient every time. Let's rerun that linear regression. Okay, so stat, calc, I chose number four linear regression enter I've got my L1 and my L2 there let's just arrow through I do want that regression equation stored so I go to my vars key arrow over to y variables hit enter once and then I do want y1 so enter again and now calculate okay yay so I've got not just my regression equation with a is 0.32 and um, b as 1.06 but I also have r squared and r now that r ranges from negative 1 to positive 1 if you're on the negative 1 side you've got a negative correlation so that means that your line goes down if you're at a positive 1 which we're really close to that means that your line is going to go up both of your variables increase together. We're actually really close to one here. So we do have a strong positive correlation, which takes care of both questions number two and number three. And finally, we just wanna get that regression equation on our scatter plot. Now I wanna show you what happened when we saved that regression equation in Y1. Hit your y equals button here towards the top and you'll notice that it's got y1 as your regression equation this is also a great way to check the form of that regression equation you'll also notice here in the screen that we've got plot one highlighted plot one is our scatter plots um, this is exactly what i want so let's graph this and i've got both that regression equation and the scatter plot on one screen together you've got this more for you here.